What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today we have episode 4. I did start this series about 5 days ago and we're already episode 4 so I am being pretty consistent with it. I'm hoping to keep this up through the summer um, and stuff like that. So we start off with just adding a fitness card to Felipe Luis. There is a lot of players that are in low fitness in our squad um, which is a bit of a problem, not a massive problem but is nevertheless a massive uh, 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 average problem um, so far in this series as we don't really want to go out and buy a lot of fitness cards just because we feel there's no there's no point we can just build fitness squads or just kind of use them for three four games and swap them around for players which is what we have been doing so far but we don't have another left back so Felipe Luis is sitting there on 60 fitness um, and we don't really know what to do so we're gonna have to add fitness cards to players like him as you can see we did go into the first game guys very good start there great turn and a great strike there from Kono Poyanka um, to find the back of the net very very nice from him there then as you can see bad mistake from Laporte there plays it through to Isco Isco gets the ball inside Laporte again making a shocking mistake and Raphael van der Vaart makes it one all in the 15th minute um, and the guy was getting, out, it was definitely getting back into it. I was dominating for the first maybe 10 minutes or so, um, but then he get right back into it. And as you can see, a great ball across, great save from the goalkeeper, and then the rebound. Somehow we chipped that in. Um, I, I remember, I don't even, I didn't even mean to chip it in. I meant to just hit it, um, but he did in fact chip it. As you can see, I picked up here from um, Van der Vaart again, just running through the team, and Van der Vaart um, gets a shot away, great save. And there was Toby Alderweireld, I believe that was no, it wasn't. It was somebody um, who did. In fact, save it for him. We took a quick free kick with Krachowiak. Bakali getting a great ball through. Bit of a scramble in the box, but Conor Poyanka eventually finds the back of the net. And at this point um, in the game, you know, we felt like doing this kind of corner technique that we like to do. And luckily for us, it just paid off. Great save from the keeper, but it did rebound um, to Krachowiak and great strike from him. We then did pick up a laughing, a uh, laughing, I don't know how to say his name, but Lassen maybe. Um, played it through to Arejo and he did get the fifth goal of the game for us and that was enough for our opponent to in fact quit and that gave us the three points in Division 10. Or was this in Division's game? Actually I don't think it was in Division's game so it was in the Cup guys. That is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. We have been entering the Cup. There is, at the moment of recording um, this face cam over, there is the Serie A Cup out. Um, and you can win someday in that. So I'm going to try and do that, guys. And that'll be episode 6. Episode 5 will also be this tournament. Trying to win some more stuff. You do get a team of the season, Ruben Castro, if you do win this tournament. So you will find out if we do win it or not in this episode. And if we win it or not in the next episode as well, guys. So, getting into the second game, you had a very nice looking Liga BBVA squad. The players like Rakitic there. Um, and also DeMarcos, who's a solid right back in this game. I'm actually thinking of maybe... Picking him up. Great ball across there, as you can see. And there was Arejo again in the 14th minute to head that one home and give us the 1 0 lead. And that player so far has been very, very good in the club for a cheap price. I would definitely go recommend um, you go and picking him up. He's only 350 coins or something. And he scores incredible headers. As you can see, we made it 2 0. And then in the 65th minute, going through with Castro. Great ball across to Conor Poyanka. And we felt like we needed to sweat it just to get the goal. And Kretroliak was there to make it 3 0. No, and this was only the second round, but I was thinking to myself, these rounds so far have been relatively easy. Is it going to be this easy um, in the semi-final and the final, or is it just that we had lucky opponents so far in the tournament as we made it 4-0 there? And that is how the game did, in fact, end, as you can see, with the keeper punting it out here, throwing it out there. Um, so we're happy with that result. Two wins on the trot so far in this episode, guys. And... I wasn't too sure if we should kind of strengthen the squad going into the next game. We had 2.3 thousand coins, but I decided to. Um, we went for a right back. We really kind of did need a right back as we didn't have a quality, quality right back. We had one right back and he was non-rare, so we really needed one. As you can see, we did see Arbolo at first um, when we go into this game. We did see a few Arbolo's, 80 rated, so we did want to look him up. But the real player we wanted was... Um, Danilo of um, Brazil and Real Madrid. That was the player we wanted. We looked, tried to look him up for 800 coins. We just weren't getting him. Had to go up to about 1.2k um, or 1.1k, I believe it might have been. And yeah, we got him for roughly that price. Very, very cheap considering he is one of the best right backs, not just in the Liga BBV, in the whole game, guys. He's he's a quality, quality right back, guys. Um, and I was surprised that you could get him for only a k. So I was happy with that. We did pick the one up with nine contracts and 90 fitness. So that is decent. Um, it means we can now rotate the right backs around and get some more fitness. We did have that right back. I'm just going to check actually at the moment what his name was. Um, 
I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try to find it later, but just you wait until the next episode, guys. There was a lot of good signings. I'm looking at it here, and there was a lot of big signings we make in the next episode, guys, um, that helped the series out a lot, guys. So look forward to that. That should be out tonight, I'm thinking. I'm probably going to try and release that tonight, do a double upload of the road to glory today you guys seem to be uh, loving it we smashed over 50 views on the last two videos that's episode two and three and the first video we smashed over 100 views so thank you guys for that you guys seem to be loving this series so far as you can see conor Puyanka picking it up in the next game here really really um nice movement from them they are into Vendat, I believe it was, and what a finish that was from him. We picked up with Castro here, into Conor Pulanka, great one too, great ball through, well, so I thought anyway, um, and we did get the shot away, it was eventually cleared back to Castro, and he hit that one in from just outside the box, very, very nice strike, and Castro has honestly been incredible for us, for the price we paid for him, very, very good, I believe we paid something like three, 400 coins, and as you will see, we do actually sell him soon, guys, and we're making double what we paid for them. Because of this tournament, I think it is, we are making a lot of coins back. As you can see, he did get a goal back here with Conor Polyanka um, in that minute. But it was a bit late. And right from kickoff, we did run through here with Conor Polyanka into Ruben Castro. He took the shot. And what a goal. Probably the best goal we have scored so far in this series. Very, very good strike um, to give us the 4-1 lead. And that is, in fact, how it ended. We got the 4-1 win. We're very happy with that. Um, I just felt that... It was a very, very easy tournament so far. I felt we didn't really get challenged a lot going into the final. And I was starting to worry about that. Um, I know you might think, oh, that should be easy. You should win the final easily. But when you came up against really easy opponents, you don't really expect to come up against an easy opponent in the final ever. So that's the thing I was worrying about. Um, I was hoping that we did come up against another easy opponent. But as you'll see in a minute, guys, we did not. Um, first of all, we did go out and pick up a new central uh, midfielder. We really, really needed one. Um, we had 2.1k in the bank account, and as you can see, we went ahead and picked up Ivan Rakitic from Barcelona. How we're picking up 85 rated players um, at this stage in the series, episode 4, is absolutely incredible. Our team's getting together so well, and it wasn't even the 84 rated. The 85 rated, cheaper, uh, 85 rated ones are cheaper, which is kind of surprising, um, but I'm not going to complain. We did pick up Rakitic there for, I believe it was... 1.8, I don't know, some some amount of coins. We took out our Atenski, whatever you call him, put him back in the club because, of course, he isn't in the league of BBVA, so we can't use him at the moment. Um, but we might use him in future, maybe Spanish squads or something like that. So we did come up against an opponent, and because I'm a Man City fan, I really wanted to beat this guy. He did have Man United kits and Man United badge, stuff like that. But he also did have a very, very strong team. Of course, Hamas, Rodriguez and Griezmann were the two that I noticed straight away. Um, as the ones that would probably worry me the most. And as you can see here, he whipped it in with Varane. The header was headed away only as far as Conor Puyanka, who hit that one into the top corner inside um, 30 minutes, guys. And that was very frustrating. I'd kept this guy back. He was a very good FIFA player um, for this long in the game. And just out of nowhere, he gets that goal. And as you can, you can see in the 42nd minute, he went through again with Rodriguez. The advantage was played Griezmann. Great, um, just great dribbling from Griezmann. Somehow he gets through, and yeah, it was a nice finish. I'm going to give him that finish. Very, very good finish from Antoine Griezmann. Very, very overpowered in this game, guys. And that was very frustrating, because at that point, I just didn't feel like I could get back in it. I had many chances, um, and eventually in the 90th minute, we did get the goal. I actually hit the post before that as well. So if we'd, if we'd scored that one that hit the post and got that, maybe it would have been a different story, but it was too late. 90th minute goal, it's just definitely too late and that was um, portrayed here as you can see with the final whistle very very disappointing guys that we did lose in the final we got so far about to win that Ruben Castro card and it's just it's just devastating in a way very very annoying indeed and hopefully in the next episode guys we can win that Ruben Castro card I really want to win it um, and I'm hoping that you guys would like to see me win it as well. But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed episode 4 of this series. Make sure to leave a like in the video if you have enjoyed it. 20 likes would be insane, guys. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.